Hello, Hi, welcome. Laura Hi, Laura. We... Hello, Laura. Hello. Our peach pie is in the oven cooking away, but mm -hmm. first we wanted to have a little chat about you. You just came back from Edinburgh. Yes, that's right, we did, Laura. Um, we had a great time in Edinburgh. It was so much fun and uh, really rewarding. Um, a lot of people, they talk about the... Uh, the journey that an artist goes on. Yeah, how was your journey? Um, it was a profound experience for all of us. I feel we grew, not just as people, but as performers as well. I know Broden had, had a story about three days in, a small child came to his show. Yeah. Would you like to tell that just story, Broden? Yeah, that was a good, that was a good uh, moment, Zach. Thank you for bringing uh, our comedy out. Are you OK? Do you need a hit on the bat? <laughs> Yeah, that'd be great for me. Yeah. yeah, you're closer. I don't, I refuse. You got me. What did he say, Brodin? What did he say? So bad, he didn't come back for about three weeks. Oh, um, but he came back. The oh, thing, he definitely came back for more. The thing is, with with Shakespeare, Laura, is if 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 you do not believe that that what you are saying is the only thing that mm. you can say, mm. then you are not performing Shakespeare adequately. A lot of contemporary performers, a lot of young people, mm. uh, they come in, a lot of the Americans mm. especially, they come in and they feel, and you can see they're paraphrasing in their mind, and that's, that's not... That's not acting. You can see and, the paraphrasing in their mind. And that is not theatre, darling. Laura, no. Laura, it's all about finding uh, your own meaning within the text. So you've got to uh, look at the text, uh, discover what it is that you want out of it, and then be able to portray that through the, uh, through, through the text. So, I, I want to talk to the people at home. So, um, if you work hard... If you believe... If you believe in your... I'm looking at you, mate. If you work hard, you can achieve that uh, at your dreams too. Get up off that couch. Get up at, what's outside? We're both looking at you. Me and him, looking at you. And that's all I'm saying. I'm looking at you and I'm looking at you. Uh, Annie Donna, do you mm. believe in ghosts? I was six when he first appeared to me. Um, it was a very confronting moment. Uh, I remember lying in bed and uh, I'd never met my grandfather. He, he passed away before I knew him and he appeared to me as a ghost. It was an apparition. And by grandfather I mean, because uh, I actually do have a dead grandfather and I don't want to disrespect his memory, mm. so I'm going to go with like a fake uncle. And my fake uncle, he appeared to me, he floated in front of me and he said, Zach, yeah. I would like some cheese. So yeah. I went to the fridge and I got him some cheese and I, I gave it to him and it sort of it went into his tongue and it fell through like Casper. Actually, I think I'm just I watched Casper when I was six. When I was yeah. um, when I was yeah, for most it. of my childhood, Laura, um, I, I I had a lot of problems and I used to see a lot of people um, because of a lot of problems I was suffering from. Yeah. And my my single mother really struggled with mm. my, my upbringing, you know, as, as a as a young Australian actress. And um, I what eventually uh, people came you know came to they, they discovered is that I, I I saw dead people mm. and um and that actually the psychiatrist that I, I'd been seeing was an undercover cop who'd just gone to LA for a holiday mm. and um had been caught up in the in the in the building as it was taken mm. over by the terrorists do Bro you remember that Broden. I remember when that happened but I don't remember uh, specifically why or when what or do you remember I don't remember it happening I, I remember mostly um when I was uh I was uh, Demi Moore, mm. and uh, I was dating uh, a beautiful young man yeah. um, who's dead now. Uh, nice and uh, and he um, and Whoopi Goldberg was there, and um, uh, basically I've just never uh, uh, I hate my father. I um, I have a very distinct memory of uh, being Nicole Kidman in 2002's breakout art house film The Others. The Others yeah. mm. And I was I was Nicole Kidman and then it oh, turned out I was spoiler alert t t block your ears I was I, we were all dead. And that old lady was the psychic you know the and the spoiler, kid was you know dead. Where the spoiler came in for that film. Do you know when the spoiler happened in that film? When? In Sixth Sense. That's when that spoiler happened. That had already happened in a very large Do you film. want to tell Nicole Kidman explicitly? Yeah, she's watching. Oh wait, I haven't seen Sixth Sense Nicole yet. Kidman. Don't give away Sixth Sense. 
Oh, Don't give away six cents. Oh, oh no. Haley Joel Osmond. The, the twist is he turns into a fat old man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the twist. <laughs> That's the twist of Sixth Sense. Yeah. Is a uh, second-hand lion. The, the bigger yeah. twist is that M. Night Shyamalan keeps trying to make... Yeah. Keeps, keeps trying and trying to make a film as good and just never gets there, unfortunately. I thought that... The Village was fine. Signs was yeah. okay. He loves his twists. He loves a big twist. Yeah. It's yeah, like, I imagine like, you go to a bar. Yeah, I go, go to a Can I get a vodka? Can I get a vodka? Twist. Twist with a twist. Well, you go to a bloody bakery. You'd go to a bakery and you'd get those, uh, what are those, tw- the bakery, tw- the twist. Oh. He'd sort of get a twist end. He'd get a yeah. bread roll but with a twist the ending more, where there's a, the dad's he'd, a ghost yeah. or something. He'd probably do the, he'd probably order a I, know, I think he'd do the bakery. Why are you guys always bullying me? I just what? What did you gentlemen want to be when you were children? Presumably, this uh, was unexpected. I can I say what I wanted to be? I actually wanted to be a uh, sort of underpaid sketch comedian. Oh yeah. Um, who did sort of absurd sketch comedy with with sort of a group of four for about a year and a half, and then one of them would drop out to pursue a career in insurance. And then I'd sort of pursue it with the three. Yeah, oh, that was well, keep out trying. For yeah, but well, no, uh, no, nah, nah, it's not really going too yeah. well. But I wanted to work in animal husbandry mm. and uh, horticulture. Mm-hmm. I don't, and, and then some. Uh, yeah, that were you. I wanted to be a prophet, but it just never worked out. You couldn't grow your beard long enough. No, I, I couldn't. I, 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 You're still I, struggling I, to make a prophet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, no. Here we are at bloody Luxembourg Bistro. Can I get a bloody vodka with a twist? Uh, excuse please? me, I wanted, I wanted <laughs> some <laughs> classic. I wanted some classic French fare, not this uh, wit. I ordered the the <laughs> steak <laughs> with fr- fritz. Can I get a bacon and cheese twist, please? Steak with fritz. That's it. <laughs> this is oh, too much. Uh, yeah. Next question. Oh, what did you want to be? Next question. What did you want to be, Laura? Ah, oh, I wanted to be a marine biologist. Hey, oh, yeah. you know, I thought how'd that work out? Had too much money. Just thought, uh, yeah. just thought I'd like to be paid to hang out with cool yeah. guys like you instead. Yeah. You know, <laughs> guys. Mm. Are you guys in Tony? I was going to sing a hit U2 song there, and then I realised that the copyright might yeah, be a bit expensive. Can't. So instead of you singing MLK from uh, mid '80s, you're not even U2, allowed to say U2 songs. That's how big they are. Can we just beep it? Can yeah. we just beep that out? Ooh, Let it go. Hot topic. Move on. Oh, move on. No, no. Hot topic. Hot topic. Hot topic. No. Hot topic. Hot topic. Hot topic. Uh, do you see Whoopi Goldberg? This this is not the view. It's community kitchen. It's not the view. Yeah. Oh, it's it's not it's the view. Really, like it's 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 pretty horrible. Sorry. What's your favourite question? I don't know. Maybe something about uh, what it means to be in a world where life life is a commodity. Commodity. No, you can do it. I'll rub you back. Wow. With more. Than No, no. Oh, I've got a headache. Okay. All right. Nearly. We're a bit jet lagged from the aforementioned Edinburgh trip. Mm. Peach, peach pie. Peach, peach pie. Yo, how you going? What's up today? My name is Zach and I'm cooking. Hey, gonna make some peach pie. That's what I do. I'm making peach pie for you, you and you. Have you ever heard of a cyber bully they use from off? That's a joke for the director. <laughs> Cobble in a peach pie, 24-7. I don't fuck around, cause I don't mean nothing. I wanna make pie just for me and you. Why don't we go and do the world poo? Hey. How do we have the peach pie? Because hey. it's, not, it's gonna make you... Stop trying hey. to cut in on my song I'm just backing you up. Yeah, well, it's very Was it too much? Peach pie. I'm so, peach no, Broden, Broden, sorry, can I just... Can we just... I don't want to address it here. Let's do I it. just... I was just trying to back you up. I was giving you space to do it. And yet... Here I am upset. Here he is. I was giving you space to do it, but I was just sort of backing you up. It was sort of like a sample. Have you heard of a sample? Obviously not. Obviously yeah. not as musical. New order. Uh, New order. As you. Um, you know samples. Where's your head at? Oh, where's your head at? Oh, you're doing a where's your head at? Yeah, I was doing where's your head at. Here we go. Sorry, can we just not go out? I'm so sorry. sorry. I didn't know you were doing where's your head at. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were doing where's your head at. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, all right. Well, I'm really glad that's resolved. So we might take a break now and go back and check on our peach pie. 
And we'll be back after the break on uh, Annie Donna, Behind the Suits. Behind the Suits. <laughs>